Hey guys, Antavia here, aka Pen of the Beloved, the dwelling place for the creative, and welcome back to my channel. So, today is Vlogmas Day 8, as well as Day 8 of my challenge, 25 Days of Creativity, which you will see right here. It's not too late to join if you are interested in doing a creative challenge for the next however many days are left up until the 25th of December. So for today's video I'm going to be reading a couple of poems from my poetry book. I was thinking about what to do today and I was like you know what I could do that because I have never done that before on my channel. So my latest poetry book is called An Armory of Love Poems. It was published, I self-published in September of this year and it's my second poetry book and I'm just, I love it so much. And this is it right here. I've talked about it a few times on my channel before. There you go. And this book is kind of just a compilation of poems from like the last three to five years of my life. A lot of them are current, some are from this year. And so it was such a fun time putting all of these poems together and kind of giving it to the world, if you so will. But I'm going to be reading some of the poems today, so let's get started. So the first poem I'm going to read is called A Moon Dance of Sorts. And this is one of my favorite poems that I've written for this book. It was written this year, and uh, basically it's about moonlight and how the inspiration for it was how I would like open my blinds at night so I could see the moon because I like light in my room. If the sun's not shining, I like the shining of the moon, so therefore I created a poem about it. So, here we go. A moon dance of sorts. I sleep with the shades to my window open. At night, when the moon is on full display, my room lights up with silver and on especially cloudy nights, the moon dances in between the shadows, casting a sort of moonlit dance onto the ballroom of my wall. I lie in stillness and watch this waltz, the window my own makeshift skylight lifting me to the moon in her craters. This is the kind of darkness I am not afraid of. This feels like magic and resilience. I never knew, shrouded in night, the moon and the clouds could be this beautiful. So that is a moon dance of sorts. So this next poem is called Cosmic Impossibilities, and it's pretty much like many of the books in this poem about love, um, and I'm not sure what the inspiration for this poem was, but I really like it, so I'm going to read it. Cosmic Impossibilities. In my hoping, I find impossibilities inferior to the beating of my heart's confidence. I am hope on wings, untethered by physics. I am an anomaly in the face of the mosaic of my own doubt. It isn't strong enough, these fragments of unbelief, to swallow up the waves of my faith that somewhere across the cosmic course of my life, love is choosing to find its way to me. I think it's a very beautiful reality to live in when we can expect that love is available and seeking us out just as much as we are seeking it. I think that was the inspiration for this poem. So this next poem is called This is How God Loves You. This is how God loves you. He has made stars your pathway so that when darkness tries its best there is a twinkling reminder of grace. He has made flowers for blooming, a beauty built upon vibrancy. So when your past rears strong, his grace abounds. This poem is a super lovey dovey poem. It's one of my absolute favorites. Like I have a lot of favorites in this book, but this one probably tops the list of my absolute, okay, no, it doesn't, but it's on the list of my absolute favorites. Not the top of the list, but it's close. And this poem is called One Singular Moment. I fear hoping for the wrong things. 
the wrong people. Forging my future in the smile of one person who reminds me of sunlight and hope like ancient beauty set aside for a great unveiling. I fear wanting to know you more than you desire me. And at night when the moon arrives and the stars beam into existence against the canvas of midnight blue, I wish upon every coruscating being that I would be given one singular moment to try again. There's a ladybug crawling on my window and it's very distracting. There's two of them. Huh. I'm not a big fan of ladybugs because one time in college my twin sister and I had a slight infestation of ladybugs that would only appear on our window. And we would go to open the blinds and there would be all of these ladybugs. It was not a fun time. Up until that moment in my life I liked ladybugs but not anymore. So that has been today's Vlogmas video, me reading you poems from my book. And if you would love to purchase this book, I do have them available on Amazon for ebook and paperback versions. Um, I also have some, I have one available left on my website and I will be restocking that soon, but check the link below and you can get you a copy of An Armory of Love Poems. Stay creative, guys.